Duncan the Story Dragon by Amanda Driscoll. Duncan the Dragon loved to read. When Duncan read a book, the story came to life. And his imagination caught fire. And fortunately, so did his book. I just want to finish a book, said Duncan. I need to know what happens. Do the pirates find treasure? Does the captain save the ship? Do aliens conquer the earth? And I want to read those two wonderful words, like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. Duncan tried everything to keep his cool. Really, truly, everything. I have an idea, said Duncan. I will find a friend to read to me. So Duncan searched a nearby neighborhood. Hello, friend, he said to the raccoon. Would you please read me this book? Whoop. <laughs> Duncan explored an evergreen forest. Hello, friend, he said to a possum. Could you please read me this book? Plunk. Duncan traveled to a faraway farm. Hello, friend, he said to the bull. Will you please read me this book? Yo! After searching the entire countryside, Duncan trudged back to his cottage. As he hugged his book, a fat tear trickled down Duncan's cheek. It landed with a plop, dribbled drabble across the floor, and then ran split splat into a mouse. Sad ending? asked the mouse. I'll never know, said Duncan. As Duncan explained his problem, he noticed a twinkle in the mouse's eye. Do you like books? Duncan asked. I love books, said the mouse. W would you, could you, will you please read me this book? Certainly, said the mouse. So the mouse read to Duncan, carefully. Together, they battled sea monsters, dodged icebergs, and discovered new lands. They took breaks for roasted hot dogs and toasted marshmallows. Finally, the friends sailed home. Then the mouse read those two wonderful words, like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. Huh? But it was actually only the beginning. The beginning of a new story. <laughs>